Hi, my name is Shan Ling. I am a PhD student at the Queensland Brain Institute at the Munir Lab, and I specialise in using super resolution microscopy to study live hippocampal neurons. We've just brought out a new paper which demonstrates this super resolution microscopy technique to investigate two different populations of synaptic vesicles at the presynaptic terminal. History has always known that there are different functional populations of vesicles, but we've never been able to actually image them in the same neuron. And that's what we've done with the new technique that we've developed in-house. What we were able to do is label vesicles as they fuse with the plasma membrane with a specific colour, wait a specific amount of time, and as those vesicles age, they stop fusing with the membrane. So we now had this completely isolated labelled population of vesicles. Thereafter, we could do a new labelling experiment where we could then introduce a different colour. And what this allowed us to do was in the same neuron label new vesicles and old vesicles with two different colours and help us characterise how they move in and out of the presynapses. Uh, for us, this was very important because we can start looking at molecular mechanism that allows this vesicle to be clustered uh, at the synapse. And um, one of the um, results that we got is that um, the way these uh, vesicles are clustered uh, largely depends on their ability to form cross-linking network using a molecule called synapsin, synapsin 2A. And it's the tetramerization of synapsin 2A that allowed this little network of a reserve vesicle to form a cluster at the presynapse. In the future, this mechanism can help us to really understand how vesicles function within the presynapse and potentially what goes wrong in diseases that stops them from functioning as they should.